welcome back to METV. So today we're going to talk about Twitter, which seems to be this channel's favorite topic. Specifically, we're going to talk about URLs within your tweet or your Twitter post. Now, if you're not familiar with Twitter, in my first video on Twitter that I did, I went over all the basics, what all these tabs are, how to maneuver around a Twitter, and how to compose a tweet. And you'll find a link to that plus two other videos, Twitter words you should know, and Twitter etiquette in the description bar down below. As most of you know, Twitter allows only 140 characters for you to communicate with your audience. And as you can see, a period and even a space account for one of those characters. And if you add a link, well, then that adds up pretty quickly. So I think it's important to learn a little bit about how URLs affect your tweet. Now let me compose a tweet so that you can follow along with me. Uh, and I've already composed it. I'm just going to paste it for time's sake. Super helpful article, six tips for creating your business card. Now that's an article that I wrote for my blog. So I'm going to come over to my website and I'm going to copy the URL. Now a URL is basically just an address for you to find a page within the internet. So I'm going to bring that link over to my tweet and there you go. Now, you may or may not have noticed that my tweet count went down because, of course, it takes up space um, to create the verbiage and then to add the link. But what you may not have noticed is how many characters went down when I added my link. So, let me show you more specifically so you can see more clearly. When I add just the link, my link, which is definitely more than 22 characters, went down by only 22 characters. Now in the past, if you wanted to shorten a URL to save space within your tweet, you would have to go to an outside source like Bitly or I used Hootsuite, but you would have to take your link, go to that application, paste it in, click the button, shrink the URL, copy it, bring it back to your, twi to your Twitter, paste it in, and even though that was cumbersome and took up a lot of time, you had to do it to save the character space. Well now, Twitter actually shortens it for you. And it always has, it's just that um, over time it's become easier and easier and you no longer need to use any of those outside sources like bit.ly or Hootsuite. Uh, as you can see here it shortened this which is uh, well it's longer than 22 characters to 22 characters or at least it took up 22 characters. Now I want to show you if I was to type This URL, or web address actually, um, as you can see, it went down 22 characters. But what I just typed actually has 16 characters. And if I was to take away the www, which you don't actually need, that brings it down to 12 characters. And yet, I'm still at 22 characters taken up. In fact, I can take it a bit further. I don't know if this ex exists or not, but I'm just going to type what I think is the shortest URL of all time. And as you can see, still 22 characters is what this has taken up. Now, obviously, this is only um, five characters. So basically, no matter how long or how short your URL or your link is within your tweet, Twitter is going to 
take up 22 characters within your tweet. And that's really helpful information, especially if you are planning your tweets ahead of time or if you're planning out a Twitter marketing campaign. A lot of us do tweets on the go, you know, we'll, we'll just share information or retweet or reply. But when we're planning our tweets ahead of time, it could be very helpful to know that each and every single time that we're going to include a tweet in our, uh, sorry, a link in our tweet, that it's going to account for 22 characters. So I'm going to compose one more tweet, and I've actually already got it here, again for time's sake. So I'm just going to cut and paste it over. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to come over here to my YouTube channel, and this is one of those Twitter videos that I was talking about, Twitter Don'ts. And I'm going to copy the URL, and I'm going to paste it here. And um, I'm going to even add a hashtag. Um, I'm going to hit the tweet or send. And there it is. And as you can see, it's not cumbersome. It hasn't taken up too much space. It's still easy to read. It's not as shortened as, say, someone who uses uh, Bitly. But you don't have to go through all the trouble. You don't have to waste all the time. It's going to count for 22 characters each time, no matter what. You cannot opt out of it. You can't unsubscribe from it. Um, Unfortunate, even if other services like Bitly could shorten it to 16 characters, which it can, and used to allow you to do, I, uh, at least I thought it did. Um, it, it doesn't. Twitter doesn't let you opt out of their uh, link shortening platform, and I'm sure that that has something to do with um, tracking and money that they make from um, tracking click-throughs and all that kind of information. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, if it was, please give it a, th a thumbs up. And if you enjoy videos like this and you want to get more of them, please be sure to subscribe. And of course, I love hearing from you guys. I love it when you ask questions. I love it even more when you share information. So feel free to comment or even to leave a video response. So that's it for today, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye-bye.